Hi, this is Majid from Ozenic Engineering. So today I would like to discuss uh, how we can uh, design a LiDAR system using our uh, ANSYS SPOS. Uh, so I use the ANSYS SPOS 2024R2. So first of all, for the uh, for the ANSYS SPOS, so you see in the light simulation tab, uh, this is the way that we can do the simulation. First, we need to define our optical properties, and then we need to define geometry. After that, we need insert source, sensors, and simulation. So, uh, this is the like uh, one of the example that you can find in the in ANSYS uh, knowledge with articles. So. Uh, uh, for the for the material so you can see we have a different material like we have a water so in the water you can see uh, what parameters we can import to the to define a water so the type uh, like the type is optics index the amount of absorption uh, so also in this part you can see that so in which geometry we use the uh, water so we use water puddle and uh, so we have two geometry that use the the water so for instance for the pedestrian you see uh, we can define a like a, a volumetric property and so we have three pedestrian so if you go to the structure so you see here we have pedestrian 1, pedestrian 2, you see in the highlight here, pedestrian 3. So for instance, for the concrete, if you look at the uh, like concrete, so you can also go to the uh, concrete material, concrete, here concrete, you see uh, how we can de define it concrete, so we can in the concrete the type is volume and surface property so we have also face property so we don't have any texture so the type is a solid body and you can you see what other type we can import and uh, so we use we have a concrete in the in our library so we use that uh, material to assign the concrete or wall so you see uh, here is the concrete one concrete two and wall so for instance for the for the pedestrian also pedestrian one pedestrian three pedestrian two this is a road you, you see our road is again like we use a volume and surface property and um, so uh, is opaque a library we use the library and the data for the library is RL road 10 person I mean so the the, the main powerful point uh, in SPS uh, in LiDAR example or, or in general in SPS there is a like you can find a lot of material in the SPS library so next step you can design a geometry so for the geometry you can import your CAD file or you can use the space claim to uh, you know you, to design your your geometry but here in this example just we want to focus on the LiDAR example so uh, so uh, for the LiDAR example you see we have a like um, we define our geometry and uh, now so if you look at the sensor tool here so you see we have a library we have a geometric lidar signal processing we want to use this feature to simulate the lidar uh, let's uh, use the library first so if i go to the uh, structure and select just main I want to put my LiDAR here so uh, then 
if I go to the library, you see we have a <laughs> we have a different part for the LiDAR library. So let's, uh, for instance, rotating scanning. Uh, so let, let's uh, select rotating LiDAR. And uh, if I import the LiDAR, so in the LiDAR section, so what we have in the LiDAR section first about the type of LiDAR. So our LiDAR is uh, rotating LiDAR, but we have, you can select the static scanning LiDAR. So uh, these are the how we can set up the like the uh, the orientation x-axis and y-axis for the lidar. I mean, regarding to the uh, how you can use this feature, so you can uh, use actually ANSYS resources that like ANSYS Learning Hub. Uh, it shows you how you define and how. Uh, you set up your your orientation and then you can see the the way for instance for the wire firing sequence so in in another uh, file that i will discuss how um, we can define a like a scanning sequence and rotating sequence and uh, uh, in, in spells so uh, for the for the source side uh, you see this is the way that uh, we define as uh, our source so uh, our source is monochromatic uh, we select the uh, like uh, wavelengths of 0.903 micrometer we use the type of source uh, Gaussian this is the total angle full width half maximum or angle X and angle Y so then for the I mean uh, so also you can use uh, 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 other type of uh, like library source you can for instance select from a library like IGS file if you have and for, for the sensors so if you if you have uh, I mean mm, and any distortion of your, of your optical system you can use the uh, OPT distortion so you can import the focal length pupil and for the sensor side you can define the width of your sensor height and uh, so you see for the LiDAR we have a source we have optics and we have a sensor so we need to define source what is our source uh, how we want to fire our source and then if we have optical system so what is optical system uh, so for instance uh, you can uh, uh, simulate the optical system you can calculate the, the parameters if you have a distortion you can import here and then like at the end uh, what is the like uh, parameters of sensors so these are the thing that uh, you need to consider for the for the lidar. So uh, and and for the simulation side, uh, if you go to the light simulation and here and system and then if you import the simulation, uh, like you can you can import the simulation here. But uh, so like here, you see. We import the simulation. You can import uh, a different lidar simulation, but uh, uh, we don't need uh, at this stage because uh, we already have uh, one simulation for the lidar. And uh, so, but uh, uh, if you look at the simulation lidar, so you see we we include the geometry, but we don't have any sensor that we already added the sensor now so just we need to include also this sensor to the simulation so simply uh, I select this one and then select sensors and click OK so you see uh, now our sensor is added to the, 
to the simulation. So LiDAR 16 uh, for our main. Okay, so I mean, it seems everything is cool. So now we can do the simulation. If I right click and run, click on the compute. Uh, so uh, actually, um, at this point, uh, I want to calculate the time of flight and then I want to use the uh, sensor tools to calculate the point to the cloud. So I will show you how we can ca calculate the point to the cloud and how we can use uh, in this geometry. So, yep, our simulation is finished. So if you look at the simulation, LiDAR simulation, you, uh, you can two file. So this is uh, actually uh, our report. So for instance, in this report, uh, you can see uh, about the simulation time, a power, how much power absorbed, you know, the radiometry parameters. So the results for the time of flight and uh, the geometry that you used in your simulation, for instance, uh, for the water, what what we use for concrete, what we use for wall, what we use for pedestrian, for the road marking. So you can see we access to the all parameters and geometry, and then simulation parameters, and then about the rotating sensor, what is our source, how we fire our source, what is the scanning, so like this is the scanning for instance so and uh, yep uh, regarding to the uh, I mean the sensor tools let's go to the signal processing for the signal processing you see, this is the because we have the time of flood. I can open the the file. So I can open the file here. You see, you can like you access to the um, to the parameter like channel if you have a different channel, if you if you have a different you know peak, max peak, first peak, if you, multiple peak, and uh, if you want to export like uh, raw data, PCD, if use world reference, uh, irradiance map, depth maps. If you want to generate, you know, one PCD file per frame, so or you can ignore and then like and click export. <coughs> can say the exit so now we can go to the PCD viewer so can open the file spills output and then this is our PCD so you can see this is intensity this is versus distance so You can put intensity like versus log scale or you can put the distance so I can put like distance and then I save the file I put distance PCD view and then I can close this one so PCD import so this is our PCD file this is the distance so and then import plot okay you see 
how like here is our LiDAR and how different color shows a different distance for us and the distribution of our LiDAR so I hope you enjoyed this video thanks